This four-way king bill is a locomotive out there on a the basketball court, dunking on anybody. He'll put you in the post, shoot post face on you, because we know how LeBron do out here. Step back from the three green in your face. You can't even get a contest on him. And we stepping back in the corner, hitting threes in people's face. And don't cut in my rim. So we blocking and throwing everything out. Now, this is my four-way King James build in NBA 2K25. Shout out to NBA 2K for allowing me to come out there and play their video game early. And because of that, I'm able to bring all of these builds to y'all. Because this is what, build number three, maybe number four. We still got about another 12 to go. So if you rockin' with me, man, hit that like button, man. Put uh, Hit that sub button. Make sure y'all got the notes on because we still got a long amount of bills to go. Now for this LeBron James build, the height is at six foot nine. The weight is at 241 pounds with a seven foot one wingspan. Now, I did this because we needed the weight. LeBron is a locomotive though, so we need the weight to have, you know, that strong handles because he got to keep LeBron is strong. We need the rebound because LeBron is a rebounder and he can play defense and he can they go dump the ball. He can do it all. That's LeBron James. That's who we talk about. Listen, I might be glazing a little bit. Shut up. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm too old to be knowing what glazing is. Anyway, <laughs> so let's get into the builder. Now we have a 76 close shot. 76 close shot with a 80 driving layup because you got to have a driving layup with LeBron. On top of having the drive and dunk. Now, with the drive and dunk, you can use your cap breakers to get LeBron James to a higher drive and dunk. Now, I, you know, I ain't think about this when I was doing it, but I should have had it at 88, so then I could have got it up to a 93. And then when he got the 93, then he was getting the gold post riser, and we were going to really be putting that thing on somebody. You know, uh, Paul, that kind of sound terrible. Anyway, y'all know what I was saying. We ain't really do no standard dunk because LeBron James don't really stand dunk like that. And then we got an 81 post control. We didn't need to go to 86 because we get uh, unpluckable on a higher level because we have a higher ball handle at the six foot nine. And I actually kind of like these six foot nines a lot better this year than I did last year. They didn't still soup them up as much as they used to be, but they definitely a, a lot better than what they were last year. Now for shooting, we have an 80 mid range shot and an 83 point shot. This game showed me that 80 seems to be the sweet spot because I was hitting shots like crazy. And I'm not talking about making whites or half. No, I'm talking about straight green shots. And we don't have no green machine. And yes, I know when you're playing at a different level, it allows you to green a little bit more than us. But I'm still greening like crazy with this build, with this 83 ball. So 80 probably is going to be the sweet spot for your three-point shot in NBA 2K25. This allows you to, you know, make your wingspan a little bit longer and go from there. Now, free throw, LeBron ain't the best free throw shooter, so we gave this build a 75, but obviously, when you make the build for yourself, you can give it whatever the hell you want to give it to you. Now, for pass accuracy, I have an 87 pass accuracy. That allows me to get gold break starter because we know LeBron James be throwing them passes down the court, and you're able to get bronze bailout. So you actually have some bailout on this build. We have an 80 ball handle, and that 80 ball handle allows us to get silver unpluckable so we didn't have to use it, like I say, in the post control. Then we got a 70 speed with ball. We still get bronze lightning launch. I believe you can get, if you go minimum or go close to minimum weight, you can get that gold, uh, not gold, silver uh, lightning launch. I don't think you can go no higher than silver on a six foot nine. Now for defense, LeBron isn't the defender that he used to be. But we got a 70 interior defense, and with our block, it allowed us to get the silver paint patroller. We got an 80 perimeter defense. Now, I still believe that's bronze. Yeah, bronze clamps. I forgot the name of the badge off the top of my head right now. I got a lot going on, y'all. I'm sorry. We got a 50 steel, uh, which really doesn't do anything. But we went with the 88 block because you only right now you see high flyer denier as bronze, but we get high flying denier on Hall of Fame. LeBron James does nothing like LeBron James in the chase down. So we made sure we had enough chase, I mean, chase down on this build so we could then go, go chase down people blocks like y'all seen in the clip. Now we got an 85 rebound. Now I wanted LeBron James to have a higher rebound, but the way the attributes worked out, like I say, it couldn't work that much, but we still got cap breakers, but it, it might not matter as much unless you give them a little bit more. because you do need that 92 rebound in order to get the gold rebound chaser. But it's up to you, the 85, I wanted to give him a little more than just basic silver at an 80. So we gave him an 85 and then the 55 comes with it. <clears throat> now for the physicals, we got a 78 speed, a 76 agility, a 84 strength and an 80 vertical. We needed the 80 vertical to be able to get Hall of Fame high flying denier. So 
And on top of that, now, if you upgrade, if you use your cap breakers on your driver dunk, you don't have to use it on your vertical because you're already there with the vertical. And then you probably, can, you maybe can get your block up. I don't know exactly what the block max is, but you know, you can upgrade other things, a little three pointer higher, mid range higher, post control higher, um, driver dunk higher, you know, depending on what you want to do because we got the cap breakers and then we got the plus one. So I'm going to play because I believe I go through all of the badges. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. So, yeah, going through all the badges. Angle Assassin on bronze. You see all the badges over here. Break starter on gold. So now you can actually, you know, get some badges to Hall of Fame if you want to um, um, on, you know, on the game. You know, paint protector, stuff like that. But I just had a thought in my head. Why are these badges going so y'all can see the badges? I had a thought. I don't know how good Limitless Range is going to be, but Limitless Range seemed like probably that badge that you probably, if there's a jump like it was for NBA 2K24, going from bronze to silver, Limitless Range might be that badge that you might want to upgrade from bronze to silver. And then now you really expanded your range when it comes to shooting threes in NBA 2K25. That just popped in my head right now. I don't know what else, you know, that seems that probably opens up as much stuff, unless you know you're like a uh, specialist, you play defense. You might want to use, you know, the the, the glove badge so you can dang on get more steals or something like that. Um, that makes sense. But for most people, it seems like if you already get that bronze limitless range, it can open up your the floor for you so much more. But anyway, that's all the bills, right? I mean, all the badges right there. I'll let y'all see. So now we're going to go fast forward, I think, till we can see. There we go. Shades, Draymond Green, Paulo Bencaro, and Scotty Barnes. And the build name is number 23, LeBron James, King James. Listen, a three-level scoring point four. That is a fire name. This is a point four um, Bill, which is what LeBron James is. It fits LeBron James so perfectly. Even though sometimes he can play the three, but usually he be playing the four. But now we're going to go to the My Court Man so y'all can see this build in action because he was going absolutely crazy. Now, with this build, I was able to shoot better with the swing default jump shot and stuff like that than I was with the big man jump shot. But this build was so much fun. Like I say, I'm probably going to bring some 6'9 back because uh, I don't think there's really too much of a difference now from the 6'8 to the 6'9 when it comes to attribute points. But like I say, this build isn't exactly what I want because when I was making it, I wasn't thinking about cap breakers. I wasn't thinking about plus one badge. I was just thinking about, let me make a solid build. Show y'all how this build will work and everything like that. So hopefully y'all enjoyed the build. Tell me what y'all think about the build in the comment section. What would y'all adjust and fix and stuff like that? I be in the comment sections all the time. I'm gonna be doing a lot of work. Cause like I say, this is build number, uh, I don't know what, two, three, four. I don't know, we got a lot more to go. So listen, I'm gonna still be there though in the comment section, commenting to y'all messages, laughing at some of the funny stuff y'all be saying. And then, you know, we're gonna be done. If you need any other bills, I'm gonna list the playlist. I was saying the bill, but skip that. I'm just gonna say the whole playlist. We got a whole playlist of bills, how to shoot, all that stuff for NBA 2K25. So if you wanna check that out, man, I'm gonna link it up here at the end of the video and I'm gonna have a playlist linked in the description, man. But I appreciate y'all coming through watching the video, man. Check out the gameplay. Look how crazy I was going with this LeBron James deal, man. Anyway, y'all, I'm out.